Hey, I'm Sarah Gaither with Carolina Pottery. I always love to show you new ways to tie a bow. So today we're gonna learn how to tie a mesh bow. I'm gonna start showing you with the 10 inch rolls. And so what we're gonna do is we're just going to roll off some mesh and then I'm going to roll it under. So I'm just going to take the sides, roll it under, and then I'm gonna start to make my bow. I'm just going to loop it around, and you can make this as big or small as you want to. And then I'm gonna pinch it and hold it in my hand. Then I'm going to help it roll under again, and I'm gonna bring it up and pinch it into my hand. I want to make sure that the loops are the same size. Then I'm gonna roll it around again. <laughs> and then I'm going to pinch it into my hand. You can determine how big or how many loops you want to put in it. I'm gonna do this one with four loops on each side. So I'm just going to keep pinching it into my hand and making sure that all my loops are the same size. Roll it around. Hold it in my hand. And this I'm doing once again with the 10 inch roll. One more loop on this side and one more loop on this side. Then I want to add my tails. I'm gonna cut this off and then the length of your tails is up to you. Again, I'm still pinching the bow in my hand and I'm going to roll out some more mesh, pinch it, add that to the back of my bow. I'm gonna cut them the same length. I'm using my wrong hand to cut, so bear with me. <laughs> and so then we're going to use a piece of floral wire and wrap it around the center, including your tails. And we're just going to make sure that we add the wire extremely tight on the back of our bow. Twist it on, and there's your 10 inch mesh bow. Fluff out the loops, and you're ready to add it to any special occasion, a wreath, backs of chairs, anything you want to use the bow for. So now let me show you how to do it with a 21 inch roll. So you're going to do the exact same method. It just works a little bit different because it's so large. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold it up and then we're going to roll the sides in. And then I'm going to loop it around and I'm going to make my first loop, I'm going to roll in the sides here, I'm going to bring up that loop, gathering it into my hand and making sure that the two loops are the same size. Then we're going to do it again. Again on the other side. And I think for this bow, I just want to have four loops. But maybe I want to add a center loop. So I'm going to gather it up again. Smaller amount this time and add my center loop. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and just pull the mesh down, wrap it around to the back, and I'm going to add my tails this way. So you can see on the back, I've pulled down the mesh, I've pinched it at this end, and I'm going to add that to my hand on the back. Then my act excess is hidden on the back of my bow. So I'm gonna cut that off on the back as close as I can to the bow.
And then I'm going to add my wire. I'm gonna tuck that in. I'm gonna add my wire around the whole bow. Again, making sure I pinch it really tight in the back. Twist the floor wire on. I'm gonna fluff out the bow on the top. And then the last step is where I've looped it here, I'm going to cut my tails apart. So where about at the middle of this loop, I'm gonna cut the tails. And now my bow is complete. So this is two different ways to tie mesh bows, using the 21 inch and the 10 inch. So thanks for joining us today. I'm Sarah Gaither with Carolina Pottery.